lot more people. Hello, Brandy, welcome. Does and be an option for the playlist today? If you want something more upbeat, feel free to pick something from your your playlist on your own computer to have no music. That's always an option as well. We are one minute away. If you want to grab a pillow or a couch cushion or a block or something to sit on at first so your knees can go lower than your hips, that might feel nice for the first part of class. Oh, nice to see your face, Cheryl. You're welcome, as always, to have your camera on or off as we do our class today. So 12.10, let's get started. Make sure you can see my mat. <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting on this height, letting my knees drop down. If you want to start, standing if you've been sitting all day feel free to stand up on those feet as well maybe roll those shoulders a few times just take a moment to arrive in your practice let your eyes slowly close let those hands and elbows get heavy and sink down toward the ground and just take a moment to feel where you're connected to the floor Allow your connection with the floor to feel really heavy. Let it root down and spread out. And from that solid connection, allow your spine to root down and then grow tall toward the ceiling, reaching up. Just let that neck and head settle on top. Check back in with those shoulders and arms being heavy. And just take a moment in this tall seat to check in with how you're feeling today. Notice if there's any areas of stiffness or openness, soreness. Any areas that you need to move. Just notice your starting point. And then bring your focus to your breath. And as you begin to extend that breath a little bit longer and deeper today, let's bring those palms together and rub those hands together. So it's winter now, we often like to make some heat. So you make lots of heat by rubbing those hands together. And then as you inhale, Allow those hands to come apart. And then exhale, hands come together. And what you might notice after building that heat is you have a little energy ball in your hands. It's a super cool illusion. And if you lose it, then all you need to do is rub those hands together again, really fast, really hard. Let that heat build. And inhale, expand the ball. Exhale, let it pulse down. And just play around with this breath today. I think this is a really fun breath technique. It just helps bring your focus inward because you're focusing on your breath, the heat, a little area of movement and energy. And then we'll drop those hands back down. We can drop the chin to chest, open up the back of the neck, and slowly move right ear to right shoulder. Oop, that way. Just check in, drop that right elbow down, shoulder down. And then maybe you want to tilt your chin toward the side of your shoulder. Switch up that stretch. Now we'll move the chin back to chest. And then move left ear to left shoulder. Dropping that elbow and hand down. 
just noticing how that neck feels after the morning on the computer. And then maybe tilt that chin down toward the shoulder, switching up the stretch. We can drop that chin down to chest. And then allow those arms to reach out to the sides, reaching up and allow your gaze to come up as well. You can open those eyes, reaching those arms nice and tall. And then let's drop the right arm down, left arm reaches high, and then let's bend over to the right side. Maybe you'll walk out that right hand, just open up that side body. And again, giving yourself the space and grace to just gradually open up the side body. We're just getting started here. You don't have to force anything. Just go until you feel that sensation. Then maybe tug that left hip back down to the ground. Then inhale, let's come up. And exhale, drop the left arm, reach the right high, and let's bend the other way. Walking until you feel that sensation in the side body. Maybe checking in with that right hip that it's still making contact with the ground as well. And then we'll come on up, reaching high, and then bring in those arms down. So today we're gonna to do a lot of twists. Twists are my favorite when we get to the slippery winter season. So let's bring the right arm in front across the belly, left hand behind the back. And we're just gonna do a little twist today um, to talk about how we wanna twist in all our other twists. So the bottom part of your body doesn't really twist that much maybe twist like 5%. So you're gonna inhale nice and tall. Exhale, rotate from the bottom just 5% over to the right side. Pause here. We're gonna inhale nice and tall. Exhale, rotate your ribs and your middle spine. This is gonna go further, about 35%. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, move your neck around to finish the twist. So in this nice tall twist, most of the rotation, a lot of the rotation is coming from that middle area. And then your neck has that extra little space. And let's unwind, switch the arms. And let's try that again. This time all in one piece, but moving from the low body, a lot from the middle, and that last little bit from the neck. So inhale nice and tall. Exhale, rotate bottom, middle spine, and then add the neck. And just notice how that feels with the nice lengthening in the spine. Then we're gonna come back to center. Maybe shake out those arms, move your head aside. And every time we twist today, I want you to think a little bit of movement from the base, just a small little bit a lot from the ribs, and then add that neck at the end. All right, let's come on to tabletop. Whew. Exhale, drop your belly down. Chest comes through, gaze comes up into cat. Cow, sorry. And then press the ground away, begin to arch up into your cat. Exhale, come back to neutral tabletop. You can keep doing cat-cow with both knees on the ground, or you can raise that right leg up and drop the belly into cow, chest into cow. So you're doing cow pose, but with one leg in the air. And then as you inhale, coming into cat, you're gonna bend this knee underneath you and bring it into your chest as you arch up in cat. So let's try that three more times with either the one leg or the double. Your choice. Inhaling one way, exhaling the other. Just using that leg to help add a little bit extra core in this today. And then we're gonna come down and switch sides. Raise the left foot up and take a moment to really get into your cow. Your leg raised. And then inhale, bring the knee in. 
and then exhale, go the opposite way. So we're still cat-cow in here with the spine. We're just doing a little different variation with one leg. And after your three, you're gonna come down. Move the left leg to the side of the mat, left hand in the center. Inhale, twist up toward the right. And as we come down, we're gonna slide that hand underneath, twist from the low body, bend the chest and the neck as we come on down into thread the needle. Maybe you want to really push the back of your arm into the ground to help you twist another millimeter or so. Again, staying within your good stretch range where you feel a nice stretch and away from sharp shooting pain. Walk that back top hand in, press into the mat, let's untwist. Coming all the way up. Coming back to tabletop. And then move the left, sorry, right knee out to the side of your mat. Right hand in the middle. Inhaling up to the left. And then exhale as you come down, think low spine, mid spine, and your neck. maybe pressing that hand that back the arm into the ground to help you twist a little bit more if you choose then walk that top hand back towards your head press into the ground slowly and wide really reach high coming back to tabletop tucking those toes under really taking the time to Spread the hands out, feeling the knuckles and the finger pads squeeze into the floor. Begin to move your sit bones towards your heels, push the front of the mat away, your knees start to float. And then lift those hips up, maybe a little, maybe a lot. I like to keep mine bent at first. And coming into your first down dog, doing some little knee bends here, checking in. How do the back of your legs feel? Especially if you've been sitting all morning. Maybe you want to add a little bit of hip movement. Just let them wake up from being a little stagnant today. We're going to inhale, looking forward, keeping those hips high, and let's walk those feet to the back of the hands. Bend the knees forward, fold. Allow the head and neck to hang down. Push those feet into the ground, sweep those hands forward and come all the way up. Hands to the heart center and by your side. Inhale up. Exhale, bend the knees forward, bend. Inhale, half lift, hands come to the shin and really extend that spine. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands on the ground, step back the left foot, and lower that back knee into a lunge. Take your time to come up high. Just think about squeezing those legs together, making it active. And today we're gonna to take the left hand, reach across our body to put it on the other side of the right knee. And then the right hand is going to just be by our side. Inhale, reach that spine tall. And exhale, begin to twist toward your hand, low spine, mid spine, and then neck. Maybe this back hand wants to rest on the thigh, just for some balance. I'm checking in with that nice deep breath. And let's come on back to untwist. Bring those hands down, tuck the back toe. We're gonna step back to plank, just for a moment. And then step forward with the left leg underneath, however you can. Drop the knee and we're gonna switch sides. Come on up. Think about squeezing the thighs together to bring your, your lunge in nice and close. Right hand comes across the body to the other side of your left knee. 
You're gonna inhale that spine nice and tall, and then exhale, low spine, mid spine turns more, and then the neck maybe looks behind. And continually checking in. If you get too far where you feel a sharp twinge or a sharp shooting pain, just come out of your twist a little bit. And if you feel like, hey, I have a little bit of room to grow, maybe you wanna help that along a little bit. And then slowly let's come back to center. Bring the hands beside the foot, tuck the back toes. We press the hands down as you step back to plank. And then push the front of the mat back and guide yourself to down dog. And these moves don't have to be graceful. If you take some extra steps to get there, some extra knees to get there, if you want to go to tabletop instead of down dog, that works well too. So in down dog, let's walk our feet about a foot width or more closer and widen the feet. So then we end up in a shorter triangle, but your feet can touch the ground. Maybe your knees are bent a little. Push the weight into your left hand so your right hand floats and bring your right hand underneath your body, twisting from low spine and mid spine. Maybe you're grabbing your shin or your ankle. You're coming into a down dog twist. Checking in with that breath. So your right hand is reaching through over to your left ankle. And then we're going to untwist, come back to center. Push your right hand into the ground, left hand gets right, right. And your left hand, as you twist, is going to reach over for your right shin or ankle. Checking in with that long breath. We're going to come back to our short down dog. Come up on the tiptoes and walk those feet to the front of the mat, behind the feet. Bend the knees, forward fold. Come over here, maybe you want to reach those hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, and just reach them away, stretching the shoulders. And release those hands back down, feel the feet connect with the ground. And let's sweep those hands forward as we come on all the way up. We've been upside down for a while, so come up slowly. Bring those hands to the heart center, arms by your sides. And just take a few moments to reconnect with that long inhale, long exhale. Just notice how your body is starting to open up a little bit, maybe feeling a little taller, a little more open around the joints. And all together, let's inhale, exhale, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, hands to shins, extend the spine, forward fold, hands come down, step back with the right foot. We're going to keep the knee nice and high this time. So take a moment, really push that heel away. We're going to reach the hands up, really reaching with the ring fingers. And then take a moment to bring them down to heart center, really pushing those hands together. Inhale, nice tall spine. Exhale, rotate toward the left. Low spine, mid spine, and then start to lower yourself down at an angle so your right arm is actually coming towards your leg. And maybe your arm can rest on your leg, maybe it's floating in the air, but you're trying to make that twist come from your body, not from your limbs. You might be shaking a little, we're building some strength in the legs at the same time. That's okay. Let's unravel. Bring those hands down beside our foot and step back to plank just for a moment. Think belly button to spine, squeeze that butt. And then bring your right knee in as you step forward. 
into high lunge. Taking the time to come on up. Really push that back heel away. Reach those arms up high. Bring the hands together in heart center. And then let's inhale, nice tall spine. And exhale, begin to lean forward and twist. Low, mid spine, and neck. If the neck feels good, sometimes on this one I like to keep my head forward. Really push those hands together, help you balance. Find that breath, you can do this. Even if you're shaking, I'm shaking. You're building that strength, that's what that shake means. And then slowly let's untwist. Bring those hands down, stuff back to plank. And this is Yogi's choice, depending on the workout you want today. You can go back to down dog, or you can drop those knees wide in the mode and find child's pose. Walking those hands forward and dropping the head. So whether you're in down dog or child's pose, I want you to check back in with that breath. Inhale deep. Exhale long. And see if you can get back to that rhythmic breath. If you're in down dog and you're finding that rhythmic breath is a little bit shaky, then take some time in child's pose. And if you get that breath back fairly quickly in child's pose, maybe you want to come back up to down dog. I'm just your guide in this practice. I can't see many bodies at all today. So this is where you get to practice your truthfulness. What does your body want right now? Does it need more rest? Does it need more stretch? There's no right or wrong to that. You get to listen to what your body needs and you get to choose to respond. So for wherever you are, in child's pose or down dog, we're gonna come back, maybe meet in down dog just for a moment but we're gonna walk those feet toward our hands and find our way to a forward fold at the front of the mat. Maybe you wanna grab opposite elbows and just sway back and forth a little bit. Move those hips. Maybe you wanna think about bringing the hips up a little higher. Stretch those hamstrings a bit more. Then you can release those arms, slowly come on up, nice and tall. Whew. We're gonna step back with our left foot. Reach back, reach back, reach back. Whew. And then turn to the side of the mat. So our toes are pointing toward the side of the mat. Our heels are out in a little bit, our toes are out. We're gonna bring the hands on the hips. We're gonna stand nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're gonna forward fold, hinging at the hips. Ooh, only about halfway though. So like a halfway lift, but hands on hips. Your core is coming into your spine to keep you strong. And then you're gonna reach those arms down, just dangling with shoulder, shoulders. And then reach down, maybe bend your knees a little bit if your hands can't reach the ground, maybe you want to add some height there. And then walk your left hand to the center. And just like we did at the beginning, we're going to swing up with that right arm reaching high. So we're twisting, but we're thinking low spine, that middle spine with the ribs, and that neck, if you choose, can twist up toward the ceiling. And then on exhale, bring that hand down, change hands, and as you go up, Think low spine, mid spine, and then maybe the neck wants to trace all the way up to the hand. We're gonna do a few more of these. So I encourage you to inhale one direction and exhale the other direction. And you can choose if you want to flow one breath per movement. Maybe you wanna hold the top through a breath cycle what feels right in your body today? 
breath. Just feel that twist. Low spine, mid spine, and then the neck. Finish one more set. And then when both hands are down, you're going to forward fold the rest of the way, letting that head come down. And maybe you want both hands on the ground, or maybe you want to reach towards your ankles. Feel yourself hinge out from the hips, straighten that spine, and then fold. Towards your legs. Just feel that breath. And then we're going to twist from the low spine toward the right foot. The mid spine, walking both those hands over to the right side to help us maybe find that twist a little bit more. And you can walk those hands back to the middle. And then think toward the left, low spine, mid spine, coming over to the left leg. And then connecting with that breath. We're going to walk those hands back to center, hands to hips, bend the knees, and slowly, because we've been upside down for a while. We're going to push into those feet, start to hinge in the hips to come up, push those feet into the ground. Take a moment if you feel woozy from being upside down, just connect with that breath. We're going to heel toe these feet to the center of the mat. And we're going to walk to the back of our mat. Let's try what we had fun with last week. So those feet are going to be about hip width apart. Hands are going to come up to cactus arms. Left foot gets heavy, right foot gets light as you bring that right knee up. Flexing that foot. And we're going to get ready to play with our balance, play with our moving balance to be prepared for winter. And we're going to lean forward and step as far as we can down our mat. Pivot the back foot so the toes face the side. We're going to come up to warrior two. So if that big step needs a couple more steps to find your stance, then take those steps and adjust your, your placement. The reason why we've been playing around with that big step is because sometimes in winter we get knocked off our balance a lot with the snow, with ice, with the balls of snow that we have to walk on. So by playing with our balance, we're giving our bodies the opportunity to learn to respond more quickly when we lose our balance. All right, let's straighten that front knee, take a break. Exhale, begin to lean forward. Lean, 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 lean. When you can't lean anymore, drop this bottom hand. And then twist, low spine, mid spine. Raise that arm up, finding your triangle. And if you wanna add the rotation of the head to look up your arm, you can do that as well. This triangle pose definitely is a twist. And then let's bend the front knee. Cycle this arm down the side of the foot. Step in a little bit. We're gonna flex that back foot and bring it up. Getting ready for warrior three or airplane. So I'm gonna play around with bringing my arms out to cactus today. And that's just cause of my room. If you have room to bring them both out to the side for airplane or forward for warrior three. You can put any kind of arm position you want. You can even leave the hands on the ground and just practice lifting that back foot. And then we're all going to bring the hands down, take the back foot, bringing it to the front. We're going to plant the hands down and step back to plank. Just for a moment. And then we're going to walk our hands in plank back to our feet. So it's actually going to sort of come through down dog and then a forward fold. So you bend those knees and walk to the back of the mat to a nice forward fold. And we're going to sweep those arms all the way up as we come all the way up. 
and the hands down by our sides. And if you can hear drilling on my side, I'm really sorry. There's a repair guy in the basement. I hope you can still hear me. All right, so we should be at the back of our mat. Nice wide stance, arms up to cactus. The right foot's gonna get heavy, left is gonna get light. And we're gonna get ready for that nice, big, off balance step. So when you're ready, you're gonna reach forward and find that step. Pivot your back toes toward the side of the mat and open up those arms. Finding your warrior two. Really reaching those arms long and strong. Embracing that strength and that courage that sometimes you need to do a crazy forward step like that on your mat. But that official step. And then we're gonna straighten the front knee. And begin to reach forward with that left hand. Reach, reach, reach until you can't reach anymore. Drop the arm down. Other arm comes up and think twist. Bottom spine, mid spine, and neck. Bracing your triangle. Balancing and twisting all in one. And then begin to bend the front knee. Bring those arms down. Set that back foot in about halfway. Walk those hands forward. Flex the foot, raise the back leg. And then your option to find whatever arms you want in warrior three. And maybe you want to move those arms around. Try cactus arms, airplane arms, warrior three arms. Because again, that's moving in balance. It's going to knock you off your balance more doing that. But we don't even necessarily want the perfect pose. We want to use yoga to challenge our body so that it learns to respond to slipping on ice and snow. All right, let's bring those hands down. Back foot meets the front. Bend the knees forward fold. We're gonna plant the hands. Step back to plank. Think belly button to spine. And then let's walk those hands toward the feet. Feeling each hand print as we slowly move back. You can bend those knees as you go. Just relax here in a forward fold. Push those hands into feet into the ground as we swoop those hands forward and up. Bringing the hands together, down through heart center, standing nice and tall. Just feeling what that sequence did to your body, and maybe wandering to the center of your mat. Keeping your feet about mat width apart, we're gonna bring the hands out in front of us, just nice and long and strong. You're gonna inhale, and as you exhale, rise up on the balls of your feet. Whew, playing with your balance here. And we're gonna come down, and we're gonna try five of those. So raising up and coming down, just playing with the balance a little bit. Maybe giving yourself a little resistance as you come down. And then after your five, you're gonna pause up nice and tall on those balls of your feet. And then slowly begin to bend the knees and playing with your balance as you come down into a little toe stand. And if you wobble, if you touch the ground, that's okay, just try again. And then you're gonna hold it and find that breath wherever you are. Again, you might be shaking this one, building some strength, you might feel some cramps in your feet, building that flexibility in the feet. And let's bring those hands down, bring the feet up to the side as we sit on our sit bones. Then we're gonna take a moment here to bring those feet together, bring the hands behind our hips. And you're gonna lengthen the spine, so a nice proud chest shining forward. Belly button into your spine. And if you're feeling a lot of work here, you can stay here. 
Or you can choose to lean back with that straight back and let the feet float off the ground. Option to stay here. Option to maybe play around with releasing those hands. And again, maybe you're wobbling. <laughs> That's okay. Wobbling's playing with the balance. So think long spine, proud chest. Maybe you want to extend those legs a little bit. That depends on hamstrings too. Oh, I've been working on that. But I'm going to keep my bed. <laughs> it feels better to me. All right. Embrace the shake. We're going to come down. Bring those hands behind you. Step those feet nice and wide. And just take a moment to windshield wiper your legs from side to side. We're going to do that again and add a little twist. If you do not like how the twist feels, then just stay in that boat. You don't have to add the twist if you don't want to. All right, so let's come on up. Again, hands behind the hips, nice long spine, belly button to core, proud chest. Maybe you want to lean back, let those feet float. I'm going to reach my arms forward. And then I'm going to take my left hand and grab my right foot. I'm bending my right knee, extending my left knee. So I'm kind of in this weird bent thing. And I'm going to twist toward my left leg. And I can't open this all the way. My twist flexibility isn't there. But the idea is that I'm twisting for me and I'm rocking around a little bit to play with my balance. I'm just letting my body explore something new and off kilter. And then come back to center, bring those feet in. Right hand grabs left foot. You're gonna extend the left leg, you can let it hover, and then twist open the other way. And maybe you're rocking around a little bit, you're fighting for that tall spine, the leg can come down. Again, it's not about perfection, it's not to have the perfect looking pose. It's about what do you feel in your body? while listening to drilling in your house. All right, let's come back to center, find that boat, bring those feet down, bring the hands behind us, feet about mat width apart, really push into your feet and hands and we're gonna raise the sit bones up. Use the glute muscles to raise the hips up the rest of the way. Really push those hands and feet down and find that breath. Last little bit of strength move. I find there's a lot of strength in my arms. And then we're slowly gonna come down. Walk those feet in a little bit. Come down on our forearms. Come all the way down to our backs. Knees staying bent. You can walk those knees in so your, your feet in, <laughs> so your knees are up and your heels are somewhat close to your butt. If I crunch up, you can feel my Achilles. My arms are long aside my body. I'm gonna inhale, and as I exhale, I'm gonna push into my feet, engage my butt muscles, and I'm gonna lift my hips off the mat. Low back, mid back, and high back. Gaze stays at the ceiling, and just really use the feet pushing into the ground, and the butt muscles engaging to really lift your hips up. It's like you're making the front of your body really long. And as you lower, when you're ready, think your high back goes first, then your mid back, and then your low back. And take a moment just to rest here, down, we're going to try that one more time. So you're going to inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to push into your feet and your arms, lifting your butt, using those butt muscles to lift your hips up high. Keep lifting your back and your chest. Making the front of your body really low. Maybe you can think about extending those knees toward the front of your mat. And then when you're ready, you can slowly lower. Upper back comes down, mid back, and low back. 
can heel, toe, those feet to the sides of the mat so they come out wide. Those knees can just drop in. Hands can come onto your belly. And just take a moment to feel your breath in your belly. And just notice, is it a rapid breath? Is it a long breath? Is it shallow? Again, no right or wrong. Just interesting to see how back bends affect our breath. Just take a moment to notice that. Feel the breath push into your hands. And then you can heel to those feet back together. The soles of the feet are going to come together and the knees are going to come out wide to a nice little diamond shape. And this is where we're purposely going to begin to expand our breath. So feeling your belly, you're going to pick that favorite color of balloon, pop it in there, and you're going to inhale nice and slow, blowing up the balloon. Feeling it grow with your hands. And then slowly allow that balloon to deflate. Feeling the balloon deflate and come back down. I want you to try this balloon breath to your own pace a few times. Really focusing on the feeling of that balloon growing into your hands. Many times we're told that our breath can help bring us to a calm space and to just feel the breath. And what I love about the hands on the belly is that externally helps you feel the breath. And that's way easier to fall into that space where it's just you and your breath if you can feel it on the outside as well as the inside. And this next balloon breath, I want you to try and make even more slow than the one you just did. Then we're going to bring our hands to out to the outside of our legs, bring those knees together. We're going to reach those arms up overhead. Drop the knees to the left side. We're going to roll over to our side body, but we're not done yet. We're doing this a little early today. <laughs> then push the head into the ground to slowly come up to a comfortable seat. But then we're going to open our legs to a straddle. I know usually we do a recline twist. We're going to do something a little bit different today. So in the straddle, you're going to sit up nice and tall. The straddle does not have to be big. You want to be a place where you can sit with a nice tall spine and you feel a 70% stretch max, not a lot of pain. If you're feeling it in your knees, pop those knees up a little bit. Now from here with your tall spine, if you feel like you have room, maybe you want to lean forward from those hips, just the hips, not your back, nice long back. And then once you lean forward from those hips as far as feels comfortable for you, you can let the neck and the head kind of round a little bit. So this little forward straddle bend here. Sometimes our ego kicks in a bit and wants us to go deeper, wants us to force it, even with the camera off. But what I want you to practice here is being okay with wherever you are because all we're doing with this little hinge with this straddle seat is just letting our body be in a different position. Just use some different muscles than it normally does. And then over time, you will notice changes in things like your flexibility. But what you have to do first is just use those muscles 
And then we're slowly going to come up nice and high. Bring your right foot in to your thighs. So you're in a little half straddle. You're going to take your left hand and place it in front of your left leg. So bring your right arm up nice and high. And then we're going to side bend over that leg. So my left hand likes to slide down my leg as I side bend. So chest is open to the side of the room. We're not looking down at our leg, we're just open to the side. Stretching our lats a little. Inhaling deep. Exhaling long. And then now you can choose if you want to bring that arm down and turn your chest, twist a little, so that your chest is facing your leg, or maybe if you're like me, it's more on the inside of the leg. Letting your neck and head relax. And just notice how your breath moves in this forward bend. And then just like we did in those plank walks to standing, we're gonna walk the hands back toward our body. That helps us sit up. We're gonna come out into a straddle, sit tall. Let's bring the left leg in. Right hand comes inside the leg, left hand comes up. Inhale, exhale, side bend. You can choose if you want your head forward or up toward the arm. Feeling that nice long breath. Maybe you want to tug that left sit bone, that left hip down back toward the ground. And then slowly and attentively begin to turn your chest toward the leg and just notice how the stretch changes. And you can bring both those arms down to the ground if that feels good. Maybe just observing with curiosity how one side of the stretch may feel quite a bit different than the other. Our goal with doing both sides is to help the body even out its symmetry. And then slowly we're gonna walk those hands toward our body coming back up. Then we're gonna cross those legs. We're gonna rest the hands on the lap. Roll those shoulders again and let them settle back. Closing those eyes and allow the elbows to be heavy, the hands to be heavy. Check in that your sit bone is nice and heavy with the ground and let it spread out, take up space, really root you down. And then as you inhale, allow that spine to go nice and tall. Letting the neck and head relax. And just take a moment here to check in with how this seated position feels compared to the one we started with. We've moved in a bunch of different directions. We've done some twisting to release the spine. We've did a little strength work. So maybe some places feel a little weak and shaky right now. Just notice how today's practice affected you. And then we're going to bring those hands back together, begin to rub them, create that heat. Move really fast, like when you're a little kid and you're making a thunderstorm. And then inhale, move up. Exhale, bring it together. And just play around with that heat and the energy ball. And a nice, deep, long breath. the energy ball, just rub those hands together again. Maybe more heat. Now release those hands back down. Drop in the shoulders. And the heart center. 
Inhale, deep through the nose. And release through the mouth. Letting today's practice and all those twists and energy balls, just let it all just float away. Thank you so much for showing up this Thursday. I love spending my Thursdays with all of you. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that on today's practice, please let us know in wellness. And we will see you next time. Stay in place. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Brandy. Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Wade. It's okay. <laughs> two teachers, two different names. <laughs>